pair plot. In this video, we will learn about pair plot. What a pair plot does? It plots pairwise relationship in a data set. Okay, difficult to understand. Let's see this. Here we have one data frame, which is obviously RDS data frame. And this has 150 rows and five columns. Now we will draw a pair plot basis on this. What pair plot does is it considers all the numeric variable of a supplied data frame and not the uh, categorical variable or maybe a string variable. Here you can see a nice pair plot which I have been drawn on the data frame which we just saw, right? So if you see on x-axis and on y-axis, you have same set of variables, same set of numeric variables, right? So this area which you see, this is called this diagonal section and it's the intersection of same variables, right? For example, if you talk about this plot, this is the intersection of sepal length at y-axis and the sepal length at x-axis. Same goes with the other set of variables. Now, if you look at this, this is the, this segment is generally called as upper triangle. So this shows the relationship between two variables wherever it has these intersections. And this section is called the lower triangle. It is, uh, you can say that it's mirror image of this upper triangle, right? Let's understand the intersection. Here, if you see these red boxes, these two are the same variables, which are sepal length. And if you look at their intersection, at this plot, the, both of these two variables are intersecting. Actually, these two are same variables, just plotted at different axes. So wherever these two are intersecting, we have one marginal distribution in form of histogram. And that is on diagonal segment. Let's look at the another example here. At this y-axis, we have sepal length. And here, we have petal length. And wherever it intersects, there we have one relation plot which is in the form of scatter plot. So this is how pair plot plots the relationship between the set of variables of numeric va variables in a supplied data frame. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. By default, pair plot accepts all these arguments out of which we will be learning all those which are most frequently used and are important. Now let's jump to the Jupyter Notebook and try to understand this with example. Here we have already imported all the required libraries and here we have imported the loaded the iris data frame from SNS library which is by default available with it. You can do the same syntax, you can write the same syntax to have it. Now to just show you a sample of this data set, I will just give take a sample of five records here now you can see we have just one string variable and rest of them are numeric variables now we will start with creating the first pair plot and for that you don't need to do much just say sns dot pair plot and just supply the data frame so you don't have to be specific to the variables by default it will only pick the numeric variables in the supplied data right so i'll just supply the data rather i can say data equals to iris just as a good practice Otherwise, you can just simply say iris data, fr uh, data frame. You don't even need to pass the data argument. All right. So here we have, here we are going to just have one pair plot drawn. And uh, like I just showed you in the previous example, this diagonal segment is the intersection of same variables. And these all are the relational plots, which are showing you the relation of two variables. Moving forward, if you want, you can just change the, uh, change the, plot types like the way you are seeing the these diagonal plots are nothing but the histogram that you can change so from here so that's where it says change the diagonal plot kind right how can you do that just say sns dot pair plot and in that all that you need to do is supply the data and data frame name that's it and then if you want to change the kind just simply say diagonal kind you need to say diagonal diagonal kind and in that you can just supply the kind of diagonal you want to have and just hit control plus enter if you're working in Jupyter notebook please bear with me it is uh, slightly slow that's why it is taking some uh, few minutes or maybe a few seconds to draw the things right so similarly 
like you can see here the intersection of same variables are uh, replaced with the kde plot instead of the histogram in the same way because it is taking long to produce the output i will not show you the example of the remaining hist by default is the histogram and none if you don't want to see any uh, plot at the diagonal segment then you can just use none moving forward the way you just uh, saw we changed the plots at diagonal segment in the same way you can change the relational plots as well how can you do that just say pair plot and in that uh, just apply the iris data frame and uh, here if you want to change the plots at relational segment th uh, then all that you need to do is just say kind nothing else just in this simple form by default it is plotting the scatter so we will try to replace that with kde let's or maybe let's replace it with regression plot right so i'll just replace that with regression plot so all these scatter plots will be replaced with the regression one it is again taking few seconds and this will produce the output in a while <clears throat> please bear with me now here we have our uh, pair, uh, relational plots replaced with the regression plot right previously we just had a scatter now we have the really uh, regression plot instead of that now it says let's add the hue to this segment for this segment if you want to add hue how can you do that let's try to do that sns dot pair plot and in that you need to supply iris data frame and we just gonna say hue equals to the categorical variable you can supply over here spaces all right and this you can just hit control enter if you are working in jupyter notebook i'll just do that as you can see we have our pair plot drawn with the hue the hue is on spaces so blue points represents to setosa then versicolor and then virginica accordingly now moving forward here it says creating pair plot for a specific list of variables so here you saw we were simply supplying the entire data frame and it was considering all the numeric variables out of that data frame now what if you want to create the data frame on some specific variables only what is it that you can do that for that you just you can just do this thing sns dot pair plot and in that supply the data which is iris and then you just press x and hit tab then you would have x vars and in then in that you can supply the list of variables which you want to draw so for example i want to consider only these three variables for example sepal length or let's say sepal width and then comma petal width and then i am just going to say petal length And on y axis, I will keep only one variable which is petal width. Or let's say sepal length. On y axis, I'm going to say just one variable which will be sepal length. And I'll just hit control enter. Here we go. So here we have our one axis drawn over here now here you see this is blank it's the error in upgraded version so to fix that you what you can do is you can say diag kind equals to none let's see if this works here it worked right so now we have the pair plot drawn for only these three variables and for this one right if you want you can increase the variables on y axis as well for that you gonna supply a list of the variables and that you can say sepal width all right now you you will see two rows and three columns so whatever variables you supply on x-axis that creates the rows and whatever you supply on y-axis that uh, sorry whatever you supply on y-axis that results in rows and whatever you supply on x-axis that creates the columns all right so this is how you can uh, make it specific to the required variables now again i will draw the basic uh, pair plot pair plot and in that i'm going to supply data which is iris and let's have the entire plot created now here we have our entire plot created let me just reduce the 
zooming of this one right so that it could fit to the window right so here we have our entire plot created for some reason if you are not interested in seeing the uh, seeing this upper section you only want to see the lower section then how can you fix that for that you can just use the argument which is let me put it over here and here you just need to say corner equals to true by default it is false but when you say corner equals true it will just omits or omits the upper section upper triangle and it will only show you the lower one now if you see you have the triangle with lower relational plots right now moving forward here you have uh, the next problem statement says making changes specific to diagonal and non-diagonal plots right let me explain you what does this actually means so as an as dot pair plot i'm going to say pair plot and uh, here we go fair plot and in that the data frame name is iris all right now let's let me just draw this first well here we have the output now in this section if you want to make changes in this histogram let's say if you want to change the color of this one right how can you do that and if you want to make changes specific to this scatter plot how can you do that so for that pair plot provides you the functionality so let's do that if you want to change make any changes in diagonal plots then just say diagonal kws and like i showed you in the previous videos as well you need to supply the dictionary of all the required arguments right so here for example i want to change the color of this thing right so let me just do this this is not required as is also not required and here i'm going to say let's say green i want to see this as green and i want to have kde on top of histogram so i can also do that right so let me just hit control enter and now here we have the output created so if you see the color of the diagonal plots have been changed and kde line has been created on top of that so this is how you can make the changes only specific to the diagonal plot so what now the question comes on comes in what all are the arguments that you can use over here so the, all those arguments which can be which we learned in hist plot if you have not seen that just click the link showing at the, the upper right corner right here and check out that video so all those arguments you can supply over here moving forward without wasting the time uh, let's say if you want to make changes in this uh, in this relational plot how can you do that For that you're gonna say lot kws all right and in that again you need to supply the dictionary all right and in that let's say i want to again change the color to red let's see what happens like you can see the color of only relational plots have been changed over here right similarly if you want to make some changes for example if you want to change it to regression one right uh, you can do that as well let me just try that if it changes right kind equals to reg all right so it gave the error means that's not acceptable over here because here we're going to have the arguments specific to the scatter plot right so let's try marker if that works marker equals to let's say 10 and let's say if this works so like here the number 10 in marker represents to the upper pyramid right similarly you can change it to other one right if you want you can just change the size of this as well let's try that like you can see it has reduced the size of the markers significantly so this is not apparently this is not looking pretty good so i'll make it to let's say 100 okay let's see what happens oh this is too big right so i mean i just wanted to show you how can you change the color and uh, uh, color and any specific any formatting specific to these relational plots or to the diagonal plot so this is how you can use that right moving forward here it says creating kde plot on top of the pair plot using lower or upper map lower or map upper right what does it actually want to say let's try that Let, let's try to understand that right so for example i am creating a basic pair plot pair plot 
and in that I just apply the iris data all right and what I'll do is I'll just supply the okay let's keep it this much only and I'll just store it in an object and let's run this here we have the output okay now what if I want to draw the KDE on this upper segment how can we do that KDE on that so for that what I need to do is simply I just need to say L dot map upper in in a previous video in the joint plot I also showed you this similar example so you can same you you can use the same thing right this this will create the KDE on this upper triangle right let's now here we got the output now you can see the KDE has been created on the upper relational segment all right now let's make some changes into it uh, for example here we will make the use of plot KWS and in that I'm going to pass the dictionary of color I mean dictionary of arguments and here for that matter I'm going to create change change it to the red all right now here we got the output if you can see the uh, scatter plots markers are in red and on top of that we have the kde plot right now similar thing you can uh, if you want you can just do draw the kde at lower triangle as well all that you need to do is just say lower and that will be drawn over here as well right let's just create that well so like you can see you have the kde created on top of the scatter plots at the lower segment as well so this is how you can play around this other than this you have other arguments as well which are very basic to understand and uh, which are very basic and easy to understand rather i can say you can use palette x bars and v bars we have already covered kind we have already covered diagonal kind markers height and aspect is something which is very common in all of the uh, uh, all of the plots which we have learned drop na does nothing but just uh, removes the missing values if you have any in the numeric supplied variables right plot KD, kws we just saw diag we just saw and size is something which you can adjust for this plots so this is how it covers the most of covers most of the arguments for pair plot and i just hope that you enjoyed it just in case if you have any doubt do not hesitate to put that into the comment section we will definitely try to get back to you thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck and i would strongly suggest to practice this thing as much as you can and post your doubt into the comment section good luck